So let's say we had a problem like um, if this formula is given uh, for F8 and it's reacted with chlorine gas which they state is in uh, excess. To yield C2H5Cl liquid which is ethyl chloride. plus HCl gas. And you know that there's actually five point five grams of ethyl chloride produced and four point seven grams of ethane put in to the reaction. And they want to know is, or what they want to know is rather, is what's the percent yield? Of the ethyl chloride. That should tell you right away that if this 5.5 grams is given, this is what they actually got. Which could have been more or could have been less than the theoretical yield, since percent yield is actual over theoretical. So, let's break down the problem into a mass molar mass mole table. So we have mass, molar mass, and mole. And mass molar mass mole. I'm not going to be concerned with this chlorine since it's in excess. And since that would imply that ethane is our limiting reagent, that means all of the ethane is reacting to get all of the ethyl chloride that we have. And this HCl is not important because it really doesn't determine how much ethyl chloride uh, we're going to get. So since the focus of this reaction is just the ethane and the ethyl chloride, I'm only going to bother making my mass molar mass mole tables for the, for these two guys. Okay. And uh, so let's complete. We have 4.7 grams of ethane and we know from the periodic table that the molar mass of ethane well it would be two carbons which is 12, that's 24 plus 6, that's around 30 grams per mole and since we know that molar mass over molar mass this is about 0 0.14 mole now remember if we shift our attention now to the ethyl chloride, the 5.5 grams was the actual. Okay, theoretically we should be getting something else. How can we figure that out? Well, if we know that there's a one-to-one -one molar ratio of ethane to ethyl chloride, we can then determine that if we have 0.14 moles of ethane going in, we should get 0.14 moles of alpha chloride coming out. Remember, that's what we should get. That's not what we actually got. So don't get those two confused. If we know from the periodic table that the molar mass of alpha chloride is 65 grams per mole, because you have two carbons, five hydrogens, and one chlorine, which is about 36, then that means we could easily determine the theoretical yield of ethyl chloride, 
which is just mass equals molar mass times mole. And if we combine the 65 grams per mole with the 0.14 mole, well, what we're going to get is around 9.1 gram. of ethyl chloride. Okay. This is our th theoretical mass. Because in theory that's how much we should get. So I'll write this over here. That our mass for this guy is actually 5.5 grams actual and I'll put a comma there and 9.1 grams theoretical I'll just abbreviate it since I'm running out of space so there's actually two masses here in our mass molar mass mole table the 9.1 grams that we determined from the fact that we should have obtained 0.14 moles of ethyl chloride and then the 5.5 which is the actual that they gave us well from there it's pretty easy because if we know that let me not go down too far here say percent yield is the actual over the theoretical times 100 percent what we get is 5.5 which is our actual over 9.1 theoretical times 100 percent to ultimately get around 60%. And that's a percent yield problem.